this is David Mann with The Mann 58 Drone Videography. Today's video I want to give you a few tips on how to uh, have the best experience uh, with the Autel Explorer app when running it on your uh, Apple uh, iPhone device. First thing I'll go over is how to uh, set up and use uh, the screen recording function so that you can record uh, the app uh, while it's uh, you know, displaying video and recording all your uh, drone uh, telemetry while also recording you know, you know, your audio uh, uh, overlay and comments in the background. So the next two tips are much more important to set the uh, auto brightness and the auto lock function such that the screen won't automatically dim in the middle of your flight. The last thing you want is for the screen to dim while you're in the air, making it uh, almost impossible uh, to see what you're doing. And then finally, I will show you how to access the uh, control center and start and stop uh, recordings while you're in the air. Finally, I want to spend a few minutes talking about mobile device overheating. Uh, which can occur using uh, the uh, iPhone or any uh, Android uh, cell phone device when running the Autel Explorer app uh, to control your Autel Evo 2. Uh, talk about why overheating is occurring and uh, some advice uh, for how to avoid overheating. I'm now going to show you how to set up your iPhone so that you can do uh, screen recordings. Every time you update uh, iOS on the iPhone or the iPad, it gets rid of this screen record function, so you're going to have to uh, re-enable it. And to do that, I'm going to go into Settings, go into Control Center, and then you want to do two things. You want to go into Customize Controls. Here's the options that I currently have installed, but it does not include Screen Record. And if you scroll down, it's in the alphabetical order. There it is, Screen Recording. You need to add that. And now Screen Recording is up here. So it is part of Control Panel. Go back to Control Center. You also want to be able to access this within apps, such as the Altel uh, Explorer app. So you need to turn that on. And now we'll get out of settings. And now when we get into control panel, and to get into control panel you pull down from the top right. There's control panel with all the things I have. To, and now screen record has been activated. And that's what the screen record function looks like in um, the control center. The other thing you need to do is turn microphone mode on. To turn microphone mode on in screen record because it's off by default, you press the, the button and then hold it for a second. That's called a 3D touch. And then it brings up this and see how microphone is turned off by default? You need to turn microphone on. Okay, and then we can get out of here and then just to make sure that it's still on so microphone is now on so every time you do a screen recording the microphone will be on it will record your voice or ambient sounds in addition to the sounds coming directly from the app uh, whatever app you happen to be in uh, when you're recording okay and just get out of it like that then we're going to go into settings and under display and brightness, of course you're going to want to turn brightness all the way up to full when you're outdoors. And then very important under auto lock, I'm going to change that to never. because You don't want it to go into auto lock mode uh, while you're up in the air. And also uh, before it goes into auto lock it will also dim your screen making it almost impossible to see the live video. It's very difficult to see anyway in bright sunlight but once the screen dims it's almost impossible to see so I suggest turning auto lock off to avoid that issue. 
back to settings, then go to the next one, accessibility, under accessibility, and then under display and text size, and then you scroll all the way to the bottom of the screen. They really hide this one. Auto brightness, turn auto brightness off. Otherwise, five minutes out into your flight, your screen will dim. You will not be able to see what you're doing, where you're flying, where you're going. It's horrible. So turn that off. So within the uh, Autel Explorer app, I'm going to show you now how to turn on and off uh, screen record. So let's get into Autel Explorer. And you notice this app always comes up in uh, landscape mode. Because it's in landscape mode, the upper right hand corner of the screen is, as you would expect, up, up in this corner. So to get into uh, control center, you just put your finger in the upper right hand corner and pull down. And there's control center. And here is the icon right here, the, the solid dot within uh, a circle. That is the icon for starting screen record. So when you press this, and again if you want to check to make sure you got microphone mode on, you can press and hold and microphone mode is turned on. It's also going to sh uh, send uh, the screen recordings to the photos uh, album, which is where I like to have them go. <laughs> Uh, so now to actually start the recording, you just tap this button once. It starts a little countdown, and you can go ahead and get back into your app. And now everything that, that, that is displayed on the screen, and all background audio, your voiceovers, everything, are automatically being saved uh, to a movie file, which will, when you're finished with it, be saved in the photos directory. And this is just a brilliant way of recording uh, everything is happening with your drone, including uh, all the uh, telemetry information, etc., that's displayed on the screen while you're flying. And at any time, of course, you can cancel that uh, screen recording. Pull this down. See, it's, this shows that it's actively recording, and then to stop it, just hit it again. And then hit stop recording. And that's it. And eventually you will get this message. Sometimes it takes uh, 30 seconds or so, and it says screen recording saved to photos. If you've been recording for like 20 minutes or more, don't be surprised if it takes uh, almost a minute for that message to pop up. All right, that's how you uh, start and stop a screen recording from Autel Explorer app. Finally, the last piece of advice that I have for you when using any mobile device, it doesn't matter whether it's a, an Apple iPhone or an Android uh, device, none of these cell phone devices are optimal in, in terms of running a um, CPU intensive application outside in bright sunlight at high temperatures for uh, any extended length of time. All of these devices will ultimately overheat and unfortunately with this drone coming out this late uh, in the spring uh, many folks I think are going to start experiencing problems particularly those that live in warmer climates such as I do in the Gulf Coast. Uh, the, the iPhone uh, in particular uh, can overheat very quickly, especially if it's in direct sunlight and ambient temperatures are above 80 degrees. And everything that you're doing to, uh, to enhance your experience uh, with the app is actually causing the iPhone to get uh, overheated more quickly. You've got screen brightness turned to maximum. You're running an app that is putting a heavy load on the CPU. You're out in bright sunlight. The temperature is high. So my advice to you is if you must use uh, an iPhone or an Android phone device as your interface, then after every uh, flight, stop. Disconnect the, uh, the, the phone device uh, from, from your um, remote control. Go to your car, turn on the air conditioning, and both you 
and your iPhone can cool down, uh, relax, uh, and get ready for the next flight. Barring that, uh, the only thing that, that I can suggest is to consider switching to another uh, mobile interface device that is specifically designed to be both very bright and to uh, work well for extended periods of time in bright sunlight and higher temperatures. Device such as the uh, DJI uh, Crystal Sky Ultra Bright series of monitors. And in fact, in a future video, I'm going to release in the next couple days, I'm going to show you exactly how to get the DJI Crystal Sky uh, working with your Autel Evo uh, 2 drone. Both getting the app installed, getting Google Maps to function properly. Uh, it, it works very, very well, but it is complicated to get it set up and working properly. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the video. And if you like it, please subscribe.